In 2011, Sarah Uten set out for a solo voyage around the world. And she's almost done it, rowing across the Indian Ocean in vast stretches of the Pacific. Now she's out in the middle of the Atlantic. Anna Warner has an update. On a bike, in a kayak, and in a rowboat, Sarah Uten has been making her way around the world solo for the last four years, 23,700 miles so far. Next stop, London and home, with just 1,500 miles left to row. Uten started her trip from London in April 2011 and cycled across Europe to Russia, then went on to Japan to row across the Pacific Ocean. It was there in 2012 that she encountered a tropical storm. For three days, she tried to ride it out through 50-foot waves. That was three utterly frightening days when I didn't know if I was going to be okay. The Japanese Coast Guard had to rescue her. It took her six months at home to get back her passion for adventure and a new boat. It helped that during that time she met the love of her life, her girlfriend Lucy. She returned to Japan to complete that Pacific Ocean leg. And one night out on the water, picked up her satellite phone and proposed to Lucy. And where were you exactly when you asked her to marry you? <laughs> I was about a thousand miles out to sea in the middle of the Pacific, totally alone. After cycling across North America through a harsh winter, Uten has spent the summer rowing across an unaccommodating Atlantic Ocean, facing some daunting conditions. The Gulf Stream is not quite the freeway that everyone told me it would be. Uten called us from mid-ocean. A storm took her rudder, sending her for a time in a circle. I felt like I had a bit of an emotional meltdown after a few days of... Uh, feeling pretty frustrated by the weather. Some good surprises. French sailors brightened her day with fresh food and flowers. That's the first time I've seen flowers or greenery for three months. What's keeping her going? Fiance Lucy at the end of the journey. Planning our wedding. Uh, we're getting married next year. And that's really special. Now, with a mere 1,500 miles left, she's counting down the weeks and the strokes to home. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York.